What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Chemical X channel. I'm your girl, Amber, and today I want to jump on some Walking Dead stuff. It's been a good month or some months since we last got left on that damn cliffhanger that AMC left us on. Um, and I have been coping by watching the Game of Thrones on my Sundays, but not that that is any less of a trauma-inflicting show. Um, so I can't say that I'm doing any better than, than uh, how I was left with AMC uh, on that cliffhanger. Um, anyway, so we still don't know who Negan killed with Lucille. So many of our favorite survivors available for this ASBE and there, everyone pretty much was fucking there. So um, a lot of people are on the chopping block. Um, and they fucking deserve that shit, to be honest. I mean, why the fuck were they running around in the dark, knowing the saviors were after them? It was just a complete shit show. I'm not even gonna go there today. Anyway, let's talk about who I think is dead. And before we move on, I want you guys to keep the spoilers because once I get going, anything is fair game from the Walking Dead series, the Walking Dead comic book as well. So just revisit this video once you've caught up, if you haven't. Um, but in my last predictions uh death predictions video i had three people on the chopping block that i thought for sure were going to be killed um it was going to be either daryl uh eugene or glenn and i'll put a link down in the comments to this video so i can give you my reasons as to why i think they were going to get killed by uh, negan uh so i'll drop that down there for you guys but today i unfortunately have come to the solid conclusion that Glenn is going to be the one that gets his face and head transformed into a stain on the pavement. There is news that Stephen Ewan, the actor for Glenn on The Walking Dead, will be voice acting in Netflix's new reboot of the Voltron Legendary Defender series, along with the other popular TV show and video game voice actors. So. Um, I'm super excited. Steven will be voicing Keith, and I'm not really familiar with who that is. I didn't watch Voltron, the first series, um, so I'm not super familiar with it. But I'm definitely interested in jumping on to this new show. It starts on June 10th, so I'll be tuning in um, partially because I just need to hear Glenn's voice well after he makes his bloody exit on The Walking Dead, if he does. I mean, it's possibility that he won't um but um partially to hear glenn's voice and also to witness this redesign of the beloved princess Alora from the original series um she has made a, a huge transformation and so did a lot of the other characters but i think hers is more um standing out to me in particular so i'll probably do a separate video on the voltron reboot um once i know a little bit more about the series um it's being created by the same people that brought us Avatar, Last Airbender, and The Legend of Korra. So I'm already on board just based off of that. Um, so I expect it to be good. So we'll talk about that uh, later this week. Be sure to stay tuned for that. With Steven Ewan being brought on for this Voltron project, it has me thinking that he um, might not have time to be on The Walking Dead or he has a lot of free time because he is no longer on The Walking Dead. Um, we will definitely find out this October, so I will be watching. I'm counting down the days. Um, but you guys, let me know down in the comments. Do you think that Glenn, for sure, just like in the comments, will be offed by Negan and Lucille? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Be sure to like and sub to help this channel grow and to keep us generating this content for you guys. I hope that you guys are enjoying it. And be sure to follow me at Nerdy Amber, that's Nerdy with an I on Twitter. I just post random shit all the time, so um, could be entertaining. You might want to follow me. Anyway, peace out, you guys.